drummers. Welcome to Tim Connolly Drums. Today I've got a really special uh, episode for you today and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take the focusing mainly on the hi-hat and we're going to show various ways to make your grooves more interesting by applying accents in different spots because uh, a lot of drummers, they, they, they're playing the hi-hat, but they're not really understanding where the accents are lying or the accents are random. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all the accents in order. So we're going to put them in a sequential uh, order so that you can understand exactly what you're doing when you're playing the hi-hat to get the sounds that you hear on many many thousands of recordings okay because you'll wonder why gee why is that hi-hat sound so good and why is it popping in some sections and kind of quiet in other sections well that's the accent and non-accented strokes so that's what we're going to focus on today okay so the first one we're going to do is a stagnant hi-hat groove and or no accents so basically what's happening is you're playing as eighth notes, one and two and three and four and Okay, sixteenth notes. So we've got this constant feel, this constant feel that's not playing any kind of an accented stroke. A, a little bit faster. So basically everything is the same. The next one that we're going to play is now accenting the downbeat of the pulse. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now that's a very common one, playing that. Now, what's important is knowing what I'm doing. I'm doing accent on the side of the hat, the edge of this hat, with the side of my stick, right here. So I'm hitting on the edge, okay? Then for the ands, I'm doing a tap. And what I'm doing is this wrist motion. So when I go down, an accent, my hand is low. When I do the tap, my hand comes up, so it creates this pumping motion that takes place. And you can clearly hear the difference between the two. Now the key is, is that you've got to be able to develop the independence to keep this motion happening and it's muscle memory. Literally this motion becomes muscle memory and this becomes an ostinato. An ostinato is something in music where you're on repeat, you're on autopilot. So I'm not having to think about it because I've trained myself to be able to just play this over and over and over and over. Okay, and the last one for eighth notes is um, playing the upbeat, which is the reverse of what we just did. So we went, or sorry, so we went quarter notes pulsing and eighth notes not so pulsing. So one and two and three and four, and that's what we did. Now we flip it. The downbeat becomes the unaccented note. One, two, three, 
four and it's quiet, the and gets the edge of the stick. So now it's tip, edge, tip, edge, tip, edge. And it's one and two and three and four and five. So you got a completely different feel. Right? One and two. Now, if we play all those eighth notes, stagnant, pulsing on the quarter note or the downbeat, pulsing on the upbeat, three, four. Okay? So, those are as eighth notes. Okay, now here we are doing it as 16th notes. Now I touched on it at the beginning of the video, the stagnant 16th. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay, now if we take the this eighth note, turn it into 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, what's happening is the one the E is a tip, the 1 is on the side, E is a tip, and is on the side, A uh, is a tip. So it becomes 1, E, and, A. Uh. Again, that rocking motion. 1, E, and, A, uh, 2, E, and, A, uh, 3, E, and, A. Uh. So, now you've got an 8th note pulse inside of a 16th note groove, which is also very common. Okay? Now you can do the opposite of that. You can go where you're playing the E and the A. Uh. So you go one E and A, uh, two E and A, uh, three E and A, uh, four E and A. Uh. One E. So you've got very, very cool options. To be able to pull out various grooves and feels that you want. And you can also do this, of course, two-handed. Stagnant two-handed 16th notes. A little faster. With the downbeat. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and up, three, and up, four, and up. So it's that eighth note, that eighth note pulse. Throw the left hand in but not playing any accent. Now, if you want to shift to the E and the U, uh, it's left hand. And it's on, again, on tip of the stick for the downbeats. One and two and three and four and one. E and U, uh, E and U. Uh. Now here is some, I'm just going to run through a few actual playing examples. Let's get to it. <laughs>
All right, thank you for joining me today. I hope that those uh, various accents, we've got the um, no accent on the hat, then we have the downbeat accent, the upbeat accent. We did it in eighth notes, we did it in 16th notes. Now, of course, I'm gonna do another video related to this where we're moving around the kit and we're doing grooves inside with phrases and maybe the toms are playing the accents and stuff. So you can also do that as well. So I'm gonna do another video and we'll touch on that a different time. But for today, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm getting very, very close now to um, being able to actually get monetized on my channel. I'm going to do a whole video about my journey to monetization. Finally, when I get monetized, it has taken me a long time. It has not been an easy journey for me, but I'll save that for another day. I want to wish Dom Famulero, my drum teacher, all the best in his struggles with uh, pancreatic cancer. I love you, Dom. Please, please, please stay strong. Fight this. Keep drumming. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. See ya.